What's up everybody? Today's another Thursday and today I'm going to show you guys just a little bit of a mashup thing. Um, I was going to show you guys the Power Ranger helmet today, but in a haste of trying to get it finished, I put the clear coat on it. I had it all completely done and I put a clear coat on it and it started raining outside and it caused like a bubbling effect. So I ended up having to re-sand it down and, and restart the painting uh, Tuesday night and if anybody knows anything about spray painting, you should wait 24 hours before taping things up. Uh, and in my haste to try to finish it by today, I went ahead and tried to tape it up within like after like 12 hours or something like that And I ripped up some painting had to do some touch-ups and stuff and I just don't feel right about it It was so much better before than it is right now So I want to get it back to where it was before and still have a chance to get that clear coat on it So not doing it today allows me some time to let the paint dry I'm gonna give it a few days and then I'm gonna put a I'm gonna touch up the parts that still need to be touched up put a clear coat on it and then put the visor in and stuff and the visor I don't even have the sets on the inside and I didn't have the cushion put on the inside yet because I wanted to finish the outside first so I was unable to get that done today that's what I really wanted to do so instead I'm wearing my gold blooded shirt because I'm going to show you a few things that uh, I've printed off that aren't necessarily cosplay uh, one I made myself, another one I printed off to kind of make uh, my own, it's not finished. Uh, then I want to show you guys some TPU parts, and then don't worry, I'm going to show you a cosplay item, all in this one video, uh, that's, that I'm not going to touch. I'm not going uh, to paint it or anything like that, I just want to keep it in the regular filament, uh, because I, I just like how it is. And maybe in the future I'll, I'll finish it up. I'm just not quite sure. I like it the way that it is right now, and I really don't want to do anything to it. Uh, so let's get started! These first things that I want to show you guys today, I'm going to put this up here, and this right here, for now. This first thing I want to show you guys right here, I just got it finished the other day. This is a design that I made. Uh, it's a fantasy football. That's why I got the gold-blooded shirt on. I'm a Niners fan, 49ers all the way through. And, uh... Even though we suck again! <laughs> but this is a fantasy football trophy that I made. Uh, and then I put this on Thingiverse. I'll, I'll put the Thingiverse, the, uh, I'll put the link in the description for this if anybody likes it. It's just like the Lombardi trophy, except it says fantasy football on the top, and it's got a beer bottle on it instead of the football. And I thought it would be really cool and elegant instead of something that has all this this stuff to it. I like the Lombardi Trophy. The, the Lombardi Trophy is just elegant. It's not like the MLB Trophy or the big humongous hockey trophy and stuff. It's just nice, elegant to the point. It's got the stuff on the front. It's got the football on the top. Uh, so I just went with that whole idea. I tried pinstriping for the first time. So this is like pinstripe that you would buy from an auto store. Then I wrapped all around here, here, and then up here, just to, just to kind of try it out, see how it sticks to this stuff. Uh, plus this has silver and gold rub and buff on it, so I did a lot to this. I made it in a filament that I just don't like and I'm never gonna buy it again. Inland filament, I suggested it in a video prior because it's so cheap and if you want some cheap filament and you're willing to do a lot of extra cosmetic work, then go ahead and get it. But as you can see in the front here, it has these lines right here and here, and there was just nothing I could do about it. And that's due to the filament. And I couldn't get in here and really get that sanded or anything. I tried to put Bondo and stuff. You can see all the way around this that it, it's almost completely seamless. And that's because I did Bondo this like crazy. The first time that I put Bondo putty on it and stuff, I sanded it all down. And the filament was so bad that any, any time that the filament showed through and I started sanding on the filament, it caused the filament to do this rippling thing all the way down the sides and all the way down the back and even in parts of the beer bottle. And so I had to take actual Bondo and mix up the hardening stuff in it and, and put Bondo all over this. And there's just a, little, a few little spots down here and then right in here because it's between both the letterings. Uh, that I didn't get. So this I am positive with a good filament would turn out perfect and great. It wouldn't take a whole lot of time. This took way too much time uh, for me. I should have just reprinted it and just 
simplified it and eventually finished this one itself. But I was determined to get this one done. And I've already got somebody that's in a fantasy football league. I'm not in a fantasy football league this year, but I love fantasy football. I typically get in a fantasy football league, but I didn't, I didn't this year. Um, but I've already gotten some requests from people in, in fantasy football leagues to get one of these trophies because they like them so much. So if you're a football fan, leave me a comment in the comment section of what sports team you like. Uh, football, if you, if you don't like football and you like Major League Baseball or something like that. Uh, I love talking sports and stuff, and I know that we don't ever talk sports on this channel. It's drones and cosplay 3D prints, uh, and so I haven't shown any sports stuff, but sports is another passion of mine, just like it is so many people in America. And so, definitely leave me some comments if you guys would like, and, and if you're a 49ers fan, you just heard about the Garoppolo going down for the season, and, and, and you're a 49ers fan or something, and and want to discuss what you think the 49ers are going to do about the quarterback situation, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Leave a comment. But uh, anyways, I'll leave that link in the description. Designed it myself. I'm super proud of this. This is one of the first prints that I've done that, I've, that I made 100% from start to finish in Tinkercad. And put it on Thingiverse, printed it out myself, and then actually finished it and stuff. So uh, love this thing. Love this thing. Super Bowl fantasy football trophy. To go along with the football trophy, I'm, I actually found this football helmet on Thingiverse 2, and I'll leave a, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Uh, this is a full, it's actually a full size football helmet, and I scaled it way down. I can't even remember the scale size that I put it at, but I just scaled it way down to where it fit my build plate. And didn't take forever. I think I, it, it took like 10 hours to print or something like that. And it did have tons. You can see it printed with the face mask, the back and the face mask together. Printed with tons of supports. The supports broke the uh, the face mask itself, but uh, it wasn't hard to fix and stuff. So I don't know. So if you guys want to get a football helmet or something, I want to make, I want to make a, the reason this is gold is again 49ers. I'm making a 49ers mini football helmet here. And I'll show you guys this in the future if this is something that you guys are interested in. Uh, any sports fans out there and stuff, I'll leave a link to this in the description if you want to print one of these off and maybe show me uh, your favorite football team. Who knows, I may make some other ones because uh, I have some friends that are fans of other teams and stuff, especially since I live in Kansas. We've got a lot of Kansas City fans that uh, in this area and I may make uh, Kansas City mini mini helmet too just to kind of go along with this and they got my boy Alex Smith even though they traded him off they had him for a while so so got a little bit of respect for KC and and above all they had Joe Montana on their team for a while and he was of course one of the arguably best 49ers quarterbacks in in history and arguably probably the greatest quarterback of all time we can argue that about Tom Brady all you want to just leave me a comment I don't I don't care we can we can start that argument. <laughs> but I thought this was pretty cool. So I'm, I'm showing you guys these to show you that it's not just cosplay stuff that I print. I print all, all sorts of stuff outside of cosplay as well. Uh, I just like to have fun with it. Just like I think I may have showed you guys, you know, the, the skull. And I've got some owls that I printed for my wife and stuff like that. So there's, there's plenty of things. It's not just, you don't just have to get a 3D printer and print these awesome cosplay things that we print, but there's there's several other things that are just as cool, just as cool. And if you're into the hobby, you might as well. So I've debated on making a full size since, it, if you look at this, I mean, it's just a helmet, right? It's just a helmet. And you could actually, I'm almost positive that this face mask is supposed to be separate from the helmet because, I mean, it doesn't touch the helmet at all except for the spots where it would typically connect to the helmet. So I bet you you could, you could uh, easily go in and remove the face mask and print it separately. And just like any of these masks, these helmets here, I could print a full helmet. This is going to be a really cool 49ers one once I'm done, and you guys will eventually see that on the shelf. Second to last thing that I want to show you guys is, now this is a cosplay thing, but I just kept it in the regular filament. I haven't done any updates and stuff to it. It's a gun, stand, and bullets of the Hellboy gun. Now I think, if I remember right, and I don't watch all their videos and stuff, but if I remember right, I, I think 3D Printing Nerd printed one of these as well. This is at 100% scale. All this is at 100% scale. Um, this comes off of the stand here. I'll just show you guys the stand real quick. 
real close with the bullets. It's got, looks like shotgun shells here and then regular bullets here. So, uh, and then these little things that stick up aren't connected to the stand itself. Uh, so you have to glue them in and stuff, but that's the stand. Here's the gun. I printed it in white PLA. I think it's uh, Solotech white PLA. And it didn't take very long to print at all. It's a bunch of really small pieces. Like this is a separate piece. This uh, thing that goes all the way through to the other side. Uh, it's got plenty of them. It's got another one right there. And I think it's got a little tiny one right up there. Uh, this pops up on the top and that pops forward. So there's this piece here, this piece here. Uh, the trigger is a separate piece. This is a separate piece. This part right here is a separate piece. This part and then the handle. And then uh, I, I had to go in and get a new handle and had to go find this piece. There's also a chain that you can, that you can print to this, but it didn't print that all that well. And it de mine doesn't print these real thin things like this real well, so I didn't go ahead and print the uh, chain to it. But I'll leave a link in the description to this. There's all sorts of remixes to this. So I'm not going to leave all of them. I'll leave the, the link in the description to the original one. But even in the original one, I, all the original stuff from that link is on here except for the handle. Because I printed off the handle to the one in the link and it actually didn't fit on here. The, it, wasn't, it wasn't right here. Because this right here, the, the hammer is a circle that goes all the way around and then this handle part glues up onto there. And it, it has to have a divot inside to fit the trigger, the circular part of the trigger. Uh, but the, the, the file that's in the link in the description uh, the handle doesn't it's just straight across and so it actually wouldn't fit up on there So I had to download a completely different one uh, One that has this on it. You can also download one that doesn't just have this on one side, but has it on both sides uh, They've also got a remix to to put there's a, a little thing that comes up right here on the side uh, that pops this to the side and Allows this to go up and stuff. There's all sorts of other stuff that goes to this so if I was you, I would go to the link in the description for this and then look at all the remixes in order to make yours if you're planning on making one because this is this is pretty cool. And even if you're not a Hellboy fan, that's an awesome gun. It is. It's just it's a hand cannon. This thing is gigantic. You can get the barrel that that goes all the way through that has rifling and stuff in it. You can get uh this here. See mine doesn't go all the way through from the original file but you can get the ones with the holes all the way through so you can take so you can take the bullets and actually put them in here and see them through but you can't actually put my bullets in here I mean they fit to a certain point but that's about as far as they go so That's it on that. I just kind of wanted the basic. I just wanted the gun itself so you, so I could put it on a stand and make it look cool. And so I didn't need all that extra stuff. I just needed the gun itself. And I'm debating on painting this sometime, but the, it's got so much detail and stuff in it that I'm, I'm afraid to actually go in here and try to smooth all these filament lines and stuff out because I'm afraid to lose some of that, that good detail, especially that... Uh, that Hellboy sign that's in the handle and stuff there so this thing is legit it's so legit it's a nice little piece that you can just put on a stand and just set it on your shelf somewhere last but not least here's the last thing right here I put out a video yesterday showing you guys how to do TPU on the Anycubic i3 Mega and at first I didn't have any trouble with the Anycubic on printing TPU. In fact, I printed a few TPU things right off the bat with it and I had no problems at all. And I don't know what it was, maybe it's wear and tear on the actual hole uh, that guides the filament up through. I don't know what happened, but I've been trying to print TPU and the TPU just kind of goes out the side and it doesn't go uh, up the tube and into the extruder. 
And so I looked all over online, I found a video where a guy said print off this little piece and put it on there instead of the piece that exists and then it'll work fine. But the piece didn't screw on. So there was no way to actually hold it on there. And then I, I rewatched the guy's video and he has such a thick, thick accent I couldn't tell how he plugged in the tube connector down to the piece. And I found out that he just ran the tube all the way through and then melted the actual piece to the tube and redrilled the hole. So I thought, what's the point? What's the point in that piece if, you, if you're going to have to drill out the hole anyways? The whole thing was, it has to be the width of the tube. And so I took a piece of the tubing and I just placed it up in there with the original piece on. And it just kind of floats in the middle, but it keeps the filament from going out the side. It's a really easy, simple inexpensive, no time fix for TPU. And I've got three TPU pieces right here. Uh, one that I showed you in the video. This is the football that I showed you in the TPU video uh, right here. And like I said, it messed up a little bit on the top and where the uh, supports were, doesn't really look all that great on the bottom. Uh, but for a first print at regular PLA settings, it did really good because the PLA settings are pretty fast. So this was the first thing that I ended up printing on it and it printed all the way through uh, pretty decently. I thought decent enough to try a few more things. So next I printed this. This is the mask for uh, the green or this is the mask for the green arrow right here. The mask that the green arrow wears and the inside where supports and stuff were it doesn't look all that great but the outside that needed to be real clean looks really really good and it's real comfortable like I can actually pop this bad boy on and it's so like flexible and comfy on the inside that even though it doesn't look all that great it still works pretty decently with a hat on it stays on pretty good so and you can push it all the way up and it kind of form fits to your face. If I were to, uh, since it has the same properties of PLA and it print and it melts at a very low temperature, I could take a, uh, a hair dryer and really heat this thing up and form fit it to my face. So if you guys wanted a mask or something, uh, and had any, any cubic, this, <laughs> this thing's pretty cool. So pretty legit. And the last thing that I'm going to show you guys, this is, uh, I slowed it down just a little bit and I let it kind of take its time. And this is one of the forearm pieces to the Winter Soldier arm. I'm printing the Winter Soldier arm right now because it, it is TPU and it can bend and smush and all sorts of stuff. And I had to like slice one side down so it would fit on. But this thing is super comfortable. It's printing the other part of the forearm right here. And then it's got this part, the shoulder part, and the elbow part uh, that it's got to print off. But if you take a real close look, that printed really, really good. It's real shiny. <laughs> really good. So this is a future project that's going to come out. And I think I'm going to do the new arm that's in the uh, Infinity Wars because it's more of a blacker color and then in these divots neither of the arms have this deep of, of uh, divots in it these right here it has smaller ones it has more and smaller ones uh, so I'm gonna do with what I've got and I'm gonna put gold and stuff on the inside and probably put some uh, maybe some rub and buff on it to give it a little bit of more of a silvery sleek shine to it or something like that uh, so it looks more like the Infinity War arm, because both the arms kind of look the same. They have the same basic structure and design to them. Uh, you just got to kind of pick which one you want to do. Uh, so I think I might be doing that one. I'm not sure. If I can find a uh, flex fit that's silver, and it would go on here really nicely, then I may do the original one, because I really like the big Russian red, red star that's on it. So... Anyways, this has been a pretty long video. Hopefully I've satisfied your guys' uh, want for 3D prints, even though I didn't get the Power Rangers helmet out today. I really wanted to get it done today, but I tried to show you uh, a few things that I'm not only working on, but that I've gotten done, uh, and then I've previously worked on and things like that. I've, I showed you guys a finished product, uh, a couple products that I'm working on, one that I'm not going to finish, and then the one that 
I'm just printing right now. So, uh, keep joining me every Thursday. I'll be back with uh, more Thursday cosplays. Uh, I apologize that I didn't get you a finished cosplay thing today. Uh, but like I said, the Power Rangers one should be done by next Thursday. I've been working on this thing for so long, but it's well worth it because it's supposed to be a really nice looking helmet. Every time that he morphs, it's like a brand new helmet all over again. Uh, and then, hopefully, after that, we'll be able to do the uh, Winter Soldier arm, and I'll be able to put all that stuff on. So, i got to figure out how it all goes. So, I don't know. Do you think that's going to be too big for my... No, it's just about perfect. Just about. Just a little bit of overhang, but we'll figure that out. My name is Bryce and Michael RC. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment, like I said earlier. And we'll see you guys next Thursday. Bye.